guys, happy Friday. It's 1230. All right, so it's kind of been a crappy morning and here's why. Not my light bulb knows, that's the best part of my morning. So around, I went to bed around 7.30 because I didn't feel good. The boys caught this like summer cold and they've been just passing it around to everyone in the family. And finally, it was my turn. So I was like, you know what? I don't have the boys. I'm gonna go to bed early. I'm gonna treat myself to going to bed early. I need a haircut. And so I went to sleep around 7.30. Around 3.45, almost four, Sophia started whimpering. And I was like, oh, she probably doesn't feel good. Every time they put her on Rimadel because of a procedure she needs to have, she had two front teeth extracted. <laughs> it's really cute. I'll have to show you guys later because I, you, ask, you ask her, can I see your gap? Can I, get, can I see your gap? Show me your gap. And she goes, <laughs> and you see her two little teeth missing. So she started crying around 3.45, almost four. And I was like, she probably doesn't feel good. I'm gonna let her just chill out for a second. If she keeps crying, then I'll get up. So she cried until about 4, 10, 4, 15. I got up. Well, the topo had crapped all over his crate, so much so that he pushed it into Wesley and Sophia's crate. So they were all crying to let me know something was wrong. <laughs> so I should have actually gotten up. Well, by the time I got up, I cleaned their crates, washed their sheets, wiped the topo down, made sure Sophia was okay, checked her stitches, made everything, just checked everything was fine. It was almost five o'clock. I couldn't go back to sleep at that point. So I just stayed up and I got some stuff done. But now, I mean, it's only lunchtime and I already feel like it's dinner time. I'm exhausted. But today's a very exciting day because we have an appointment to see a house that's a super strong contender and I don't wanna get my hopes up, but I'm really, really, really excited. Hopes up engaged. Hope ups engaged. You know what I'm trying to say. Like it's too late, I'm, I have my hopes up. <laughs> so we're gonna go see a house early this afternoon. I have therapy at four o'clock. So house, therapy, and then Parker's on call tonight. So we'll just have to like lay low here at the house in case he gets called in. But that's it for right now. I wanna show you guys an outfit of the day, but before we get into it, I did wanna say thank you to Warby Parker for sponsoring this weekend vlog. I don't know if you guys know this, but Parker wears glasses. And I don't know if your spouse or your significant other is like this, but unless you remind them to go to the doctor, it's not happening. So he was complaining about how his glasses were old and I was like, yeah, cause it's been two years since we ordered you glasses. He's like, no it hasn't. I'm like, yes, it has. So it's been two years since he got fresh, a fresh pair of eyes. So this weekend I'm going to bully him into doing a Warby Parker at home try on. He picked five frames. I had nothing to do with this, you guys. I was very surprised. I had nothing to do with this. He picked them out all by himself. So later on in this vlog, you're gonna see him try those on for you guys. If you guys haven't heard of Warby Parker, awesome, awesome selection of glasses. They send them to your house. It's like bringing the optical shop to your house. You don't have other people watching you while you're trying it on. If you wanna take a selfie and send it to your friends so that they can help you decide, you can do that. I know when I used to go to the optical shop and I would try on glasses, I'd be embarrassed because I'd wanna take a picture and like send it to my mom to see what she would thought think about the glasses, but people are looking at me. And I get so embarrassed taking a picture of myself when I'm out in public. I don't know, it's ridiculous. Unless I'm taking a picture with somebody, if it's just me, I'm like trying to hide to take a picture. <laughs> anyway, we need to head out, run a few errands, but I wanted to show you guys an outfit of the day. Now listen here, if you don't like my outfit, that's perfectly okay, but I do wanna disclose that I'm in love with it. All of this stuff was on clearance, on the Express website for Labor Day. So the shirt and the pants were both, the shirt was $14. <laughs> Apparently Ernie's upset that she didn't get clothes from Express. The shirt was $14 and the pants were $10. I've always been a fan of dressing in a very interesting way. So when Express speaks my love language, I get really excited. All right, you guys, so this is a really cute, like slinky, it's almost like a sweater tank, and I really like it because it gives a very smooth silhouette. I am a fan of smooth silhouettes. I don't like when you get the bulge in the back and stuff like that. And then these are my Aladdin pants. I don't even know what to call these. They're kind of like cargo pants, maybe? Combat pants? What do you think, Bubba? Do you like your mama's pants? 
You love everything about your mama. This is the kind of support I need in my life. Yes, it is. Oh, you're so handsome. Popo, why are you so Eh? Do you like my pants? Yeah, you're checking them out. You need a full 360 view, don't you? Yeah? You want to get closer? Hey, take one more look. Yep, that's right. You're obsessed, aren't you? <laughs> what do you think? Hey, what do you think? This is CNN America. Do you like your mama's pants? No? A little bit? Do you hate them? Oh, no comment. All right. So these are the pants. How cool are they? They're like super high-waisted. They have a belt. I need to probably tighten that. And then they're pleated in the front. I love pleats. Hashtag bring back pleats. And then at the bottom, they have this little this little button. They're stitched here, so I'm supposed to take off that stitch. I'm supposed to cut it out. It's like when the pockets are sewn in. Um, I'm supposed to cut it out, but I don't want to. And there's a little button here. Don't look at my toes. I need a pedicure, y'all. Um, all right, well, we're having technical difficulties here. Holy crap. Oh my God, Parker just took a shower and the room feels wet. I'm sweating. All right, so this is my entire outfit. I thought it was pretty cute. I feel cute. At the end of the day, if you feel cute in a unicorn robe with slippers and a face mask, that's all that matters, y'all, okay? So we're heading out the door. I'll try and bring you guys along. I am not going to show you the house because it's not a done deal. We still have to look at it and people still live in it. <laughs> so that's kind of rude and against the law. <laughs> day. All right, it's almost 10 o'clock. Guess what I'm trying today? If you guys saw my random haul, you know what this is. If you don't, you probably should go watch it. I'll update you guys at the end of the day. Supposedly the efficacy is for 12 hours. I've had a really good day, but I don't know if it has to do with the patch or if it's just because yesterday was a very good day. I left you guys on a cliffhanger. Oh, who's creeping? Who's creeping and sneaking? Who's that? Is it my snaggle tooth? Let me see that little mouth. Who's your little mouth? Oh, that's so cute. Why are you so tall? I swear, every time he comes back from his dad's, I'm like, this is illegal. It is a crime, and you're not allowed to keep growing. You know what I mean? <laughs> is there a horse peeing in there? <laughs> Is it a dinosaur? Did you hear that? <laughs> Did I leave the hose on? Is there a dinosaur pooping in there? <laughs> what the heck? Okay, yesterday was an amazing, amazing, amazing day. It looks like, it looks like we're on the right path to goodness, to blessings by the fistful. So, um, <laughs> Here you go. Here's one of the blessings. That's a very good looking blessing, let me tell you. I'm sorry, do you want to update us on your weekend? Because apparently you need an interview right now. All right, so here's the scoop. Yesterday was an amazing day. We went to see a house. Hopefully it's my house soon. And I had therapy at four o'clock. It wasn't one of those appointments where I leave happy. It wasn't those appointments where I leave smiling. It wasn't one of those appointments that taught me anything. It was one of those appointments that feels like you get punched over and over. But I always see, even if in that moment I don't see the benefit of it, eventually it, it comes full circle. So I've given it enough chances to kind of accept the process. <laughs> I still haven't accepted this process. I'm still struggling. I've given it enough chances to, to recognize the process and know it's, it's part of it. It was a good day. We came home, Parker and, uh, Parker and I, Parker and I were on call. Parker was on call all night. He didn't have to go out, thankfully, which was great. We both agreed to quit watching the boys because things got real weird. I do not recommend. You know, I can comfortably watch serial killer interviews and serial killer shows and snap. Yes, yeah, and just watching murder shows. Yeah, my kid puts me on blast. So I can very comfortably watch that kind of stuff, but it makes me really uncomfortable when I see really derogatory or racist moments or animal cruelty in television programming. 
if I ever see animal cruelty or if I see someone that like is super white supremacist or whatever, anything that's just not kind, it really bothers me. But then why can't I watch, why can't I watch those serial killer things so, so comfortably? Like, what's the difference? You know what I mean? Anyway, I digress. So today is Saturday. We have the boys this weekend. And uh, Parker, I told you guys, was rear-ended a couple weeks ago. So his loner car is a convertible Mustang. The boys lost their poop when they saw it this morning. So we took them around the block for a little bit just so they could get the get the effect. So we're going to run some errands. Stupid stuff like drop-off packages at the post office, things like that. Y'all... Oh my God, you've kept me busy all morning with Poshmark sales. So we bundled them all up and we're gonna go drop them off at the post office and then we're gonna go grab a bite to eat. It's gonna be a pretty chill day, but we also don't really have a plan as to what we're gonna do. So y'all are hanging out with us for the rest of the day. You may get a lot of this from my child. Um, I apologize in advance, um, but that's it. It's like brunch time. Oh, you know what? I promised to show you guys Sophia's gap. Hey, Sophie. Can I see your tooth? Can you show me your tooth? Let me see it. Show your friends. Can you show your friends? Ah! No, not right now. <laughs> Let me see. A ver, Sofia, enséñame tu boquita. Enséñame tu boquita, princesa de mi vida. A ver, hey, Sofia. 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 Sofia doesn't want to show me her gap. Sophie. Selfie. Hey. Hey. Can can you show me your gap? Just a little bit. Show everyone your little tooth. No. Oh, her, her mustache is in the way. No, oh, I don't hurt. She doesn't want to. Doesn't want to. <laughs> Are you being shy? <laughs> we'll see you guys later, but she gets so excited. She goes, <laughs> shows you your little tiny gap. They pulled out her little tooth right in the middle in the front, just pulled it out. It was cracked and so they had to take it out so it wouldn't be in any more pain. Can I see it? Can I see it? Come on, show me your tooth. Oh, I hear the troops coming. I hear the troops coming. Who's there? The most handsome boy in the world. All right, you guys, so we are heading out. We're gonna run a few errands and uh, you guys are gonna get to see Parker's awesome, super cool loner vehicle. I don't know if you guys wanna see my outfit of the day. It's pretty. I mean, my, my shirt was like $4 at Old Navy. So we just have navy blue t-shirt, white jeans, my Converse that I asked you guys if you wanted to see a video on how I wash them. You guys need to believe me when I say these Converse are old. I mean, old, look at the soles. Um, the, you see how it's cracked? So they're old, I just like to keep them bright white. So if you guys want to see a video on how I keep my shoes white, I'll do that for you guys. But um, that's it, I got my jacket. Do you have your jacket? This kid, who runs the world, devices. Me. Que tan bonito.
You know what else happened? Boom. I am. Oh, I don't want to see blood. Oh, it's terrible. You can feel it sliced open too. Hey, you guys, it's almost seven o'clock. All right, so here's the scoop. I sliced my finger open. I really thought I just nicked it. And there are these new shears that Parker found on Amazon for his haircut. I really thought I just nicked it. And then when I went like that and kind of like pulled the skin apart, it was like all the way down. It was so dumb too. I don't know why I felt the need to touch the blade. I, I, I don't even know how I grazed it. It was just like a freak accident. Today's been a very productive day. We ran a few errands with the kids. We dropped off a bunch of your Poshmark packages. We've been wrapping packages all day. We sold some furniture. <laughs> it's been so busy that I sat down right now and I told Parker, what time is it? I feel like it's 8.30. It's only, it's only seven. Well, this was like an hour ago. Anyway, I'm sitting down to eat dinner. Today was one of those days where we ate late and we ate heavy, so we're not really hungry. But Parker knows the way to my heart. Sugar, nuts, berries, carbs. He, uh, he made me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So that's what this grown up's having for dinner. I was telling Parker, I'm like, hey, we still have to do Warby Parker. And I'm anxious to see what the frames look like on him because he took free reign and picked just a random five pairs. So I asked him, I was like, hey, we gotta do Warby Parker at some point this weekend. He's like, okay, but I'm gonna need a haircut first. <laughs> so I was like, okay, the boys need haircuts. Now, we've talked about this before in other vlogs. My oldest son makes me giving him haircuts mission impossible. I mean, literally swinging from the roof, cutting through the lasers, mission impossible hard. That's how hard it is. And Parker's like, why don't you just let me do it? I was like, um, I'm sorry, what? You wanna cut his hair? He's like, yeah. I'm like, okay. <laughs> this kid was a peach. I'm mildly, I'm mildly jealous, but also profoundly angry. <laughs> profoundly ragey on the inside. He just sat there, he was smiling, laughing. I was like, I'm sorry, I'm gonna post you on Craigslist with my other furniture. <laughs> okay, so here's the scoop. We are gonna finish dinner. We're gonna go upstairs and play Wii U. Uh, and then tomorrow we have to do an in-store pickup at Nordstrom because Parker needs some sandals. For some reason, another Nordstrom had them, but not this Nordstrom, so they ship them overnight to a different location and then you go pick them up at your local location, which I thought was pretty convenient. I didn't know they did that. So like if your Nordstrom doesn't have it, but another one nearby does, they bring it over to your store and then you go pick it up. Isn't that cool? So tomorrow's gonna be a pretty relaxing day, kind of like today, but we will show you Parker's try on tomorrow, for sure, for sure, after I take a shower. Because just between us, I don't remember the last time I showered. <laughs> Good time. Good time. But that's it. I wanted to say goodnight to you guys before I devour my sandwich. And I don't think you guys need to see that. So we're gonna go eat, go to bed, and then tomorrow we'll say good morning. I love you. Hey you guys, good morning. Happy Sunday. Another day, some more tie-dye. All right, today's Sunday. We are just gonna have a busy day doing stuff that you need to do. It's not really that exciting, but you gotta do anyway. So you, you know, turn that frown upside down and just enjoy it. Parker made me pancakes for breakfast, which was awesome. My kids don't genu generally, generally like to eat breakfast. Rather, they're not a breakfast food type of kid. So they like to eat fruit, yogurt, granola, stuff like that, but breakfast foods like, bacon and pancakes, waffles, stuff like that, eggs, they don't like to eat. So they had their own little special breakfast. Parker and I had pancakes. I wrapped up some more Poshmark packages. You guys have kept me so busy. And then we have to do a grocery pickup around lunchtime. Ernie, are you okay? Cause sounds like you're having a meltdown over there. Hey, Ernie, come here. I'm sorry, what are you doing? Where, uh, I'm sorry. Where are you going? What's going, what's going on? Do you want me to open it for you? Yeah? All right, let's figure this out. Do you wanna show everybody your panda that you got yesterday? 
No? Many of you guys have kids that have like 92 snacks a day? My kids. Yeah, so today we have to do stuff like post office again, uh, pick up some sandals um, for, for Parker. Um, that you, do they do like a drive up thing? So you just park, call them, and they bring it out to you. Home Depot pick up as well. Parker needs some light bulbs for his property that he sold. Stuff like that. Just silly stuff. That humming you hear, that's Parker making his lunches. So he was like super sweet this morning. He made breakfast, cleaned the kitchen. Now he's making his lunches. He's in the garage doing something right now. God knows what. But he's sou sous vide. He's using the sous vide to cook his chicken breast. So basically with sous vide, it's like a temperature control device where it keeps the water at a temperature for like a steadily at that same temperature and the water never touches your food. It's like cooking, it's like steaming without the steam. It's a very bizarre process, super science, very nerdy. Once you take it out of here, it's actually fully cooked and ready to go. But if you want it to look pretty and not like poached food, you um, have to sear it on the cooktop or the grill just for added looks and maybe a little flavor. So he's taking care of his lunches right now. And we're just gonna kind of play it by ear. There's two closets that I wanna, um, why is my nose so red? There's two closets that I wanna empty out today because I wanna get an idea of what I have, what I need to get rid of, and if it's really that much stuff. So there are certain things that I can donate, like all of my card stock, and stickers, but there's other stuff, kind of like on Poshmark. I donate the majority of my clothes, but there's certain things that do have significant value. But yeah, it's gonna be a pretty, pretty chill day. So you guys aren't gonna see anything super exciting or extravagant, basically like the entire weekend. <laughs> but whatever we do, you guys are coming along. Hey, hey you guys, it's a little bit after 3.30. Today's been one of those days where I feel like I accomplished nothing, but I haven't stopped for a second. So anyway, it's just been, you know, cooking and cleaning and decluttering closets. Y'all, I am so proud of my children. We pulled out all of their toys. I'm talking all of their toys from their toy closet to what they have in their ottomans. We took everything out. And it was like, say yes or no, say yes or no, say yes or no. We have a big move coming up, you know? And these kids spend most of the time on their switches and their tablets. And they have so many toys. They're so lucky, they're so blessed. But there's other children that could be lucky and blessed too and actually give this stuff a second life. So they were able to condense their entire toy collection to each of their ottomans. Their benches that are at the end of their bed. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll link an Amazon video somewhere here where I featured it. It's so awesome. It's basically a bench for the end of your bed, but it's also storage. And they filled it with their toys that they really, really love. And they were so excited to donate their others. So it made me feel good. It was like a proud mom moment. But the moment y'all have been waiting for, I think Parker's been playing it up, you know, his role in this vlog. He's acting like the talent. I don't think you guys have seen, seen him at all this weekend, but you're gonna see enough of him right now. So here's the story. Parker has glasses. Parker has, in fact, I think three pairs of glasses, but they are over two years old. He got those glasses, actually, they're almost three years old because I ordered them for him when we just started dating. That's how old his glasses are. So he was complaining, he's like, I don't think my glasses work anymore. I was like, yeah, cause you haven't gone to the doctor. I told you guys at the beginning of this video, I was like, do you guys have a partner that needs to be reminded, forced, and dropped off at the door of his doctor? That's Parker. But let's be honest, that's also me. <laughs> I reschedule my doctor's appointment so many times until Parker's like, I took the day off and I'm taking you. So today Parker is going to select his pair of Warby Parkers. If you guys haven't heard of Warby Parker before, you clearly are new to these vlogs because all of the glasses that you guys see me wearing are Warby Parkers. And Warby Parker is a brand that offers exceptional eye care in store, online. They bring the optical shop to your home. You can go in store, you can get anything from fittings to sunglasses to contact lenses to eye exams, or you could do it all from the comfort of your house as well. So Warby Parker has been around for a very long time. Their glasses, sunglasses, Glasses all start at about $95 and I think my favorite part about this brand is they donate a pair of glasses to someone in need every time you guys buy a pair of glasses which is awesome but you guys aren't here to hear me talk about the deal or the at-home try-on you're here to see the snack are you ready yes talent <laughs> okay so we got to talk about something I'm a little salty about it 
So I told Parker, I was like, hey, you need new glasses. Warby Parker and I are working together in the fall, and uh, do you want to get new glasses? He's like, yeah, well, you know, I've been complaining about my glasses don't work anymore or whatever. I'm like, okay, so do you want to take the quiz together? Do you want to, you know, maybe, maybe you want, do you want me to help you select the pairs of frames? And w what did you do? Like, no, I'm a big boy. I can do it myself. <laughs> so I did. I took the, uh, Amelia got online, and mm. there was a lot of choices <laughs> from like, these guys. A lot of choices. <laughs> so, I mean, if you, if you can't find something you like on this website, uh, there's a problem. But that was actually the problem. It was kind of overwhelming. They had so many. So, uh, they suggest right there on the homepage to take the quiz. Right? Mm -hmm. so, Without your wife. <laughs> Continue. I want to, to do it all by myself. <laughs> so, I took the quiz, and uh, it was actually very short. It's just a few questions. And once I took that quiz and narrowed down the results to a very manageable number of classes to pick out and at that point it was really easy to pick out the ones I like just clicked on them and uh, hit submit mm -hmm. and away we went all we had to do is wait for them to show up yeah so he did the at-home try-on which is no strings attached it's absolutely free you get a free return label and it looks like this you get a box sent to your house they're the glasses that Warby Parker helped you pick out or that you picked out yourself like if you don't want to take the quiz you're like hey don't tell me how to live my life Warby Parker you can go on there and just select any five you can go from men's to women's just anything you can select wide uh, the wide frame the medium frames narrow frame uh, low bridge high bridge all the specifics they even do blue light on the lenses mm -hmm. once you come to order so I mean we're all on screens all day long so it's a good thing so um, when they send it to you, it arrives like this. You haven't even seen them, have you? No, Wait, I haven't. Did you try them on without me? <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't. I wouldn't dare. <laughs> no. Help me. So they arrive like this. They're all individually packaged, and they're labeled with the name on the bag, so that if you're like, oh, I don't remember which one was the one I liked, the name is on the bag, and you can just go back. The cool thing too is the prepaid label makes it easy for you. You try them all on, and you're like. The Welty is the one I want, which, by the way, is in this box. Do you guys remember Welty? It was the very first Warby Parker I got. So you just stick the label right on it, send it right back, and you're committed to your choice. But here's the cool part. If you guys have an iPhone X or newer, you can do the Warby Parker app, and it puts them on you like... A virtual. Virtually, yeah. I'm like, like a robot? Like augmented <laughs> like, reality. Like magic. <laughs> so do you want to just jump in? Like, are we doing Let's this? Let's do this. Or? Let's just go from one side to the other, huh? Yeah. Okay. Right. Nice individually packaged. Yeah. Have the name right on there. Which ones are these? These are like the tortoise shell. Baker. The Baker? Baker. B A K E R Baker. Did I see that? <laughs> yeah. Nice, All right? Let's see how this goes. Oh. Wow. I mean, I would definitely ask you about my dinosaur fossils, for sure. And I'd tell you all about them, too, young lady. <laughs> and, you would, and you would know what to say. That's right. I would bust wow. out some paleontology on you. Wow. Could you just give me a still. Give me a still shot. Yeah, I could use you for the thumbnail. What do you think? How do you feel? Uh, One out of three. Um, well, they're very comfortable. They're light. Mm -hmm. They're light. And they're not pinching me on the back of the ears like mm -hmm. I hate. Um... I can see the frame, but it's not too noticeable. Oh, you mean like when you do this? Yeah, if I look. <laughs> I love them, right? Oh, these are nice. I like these. Okay. They're, they're very comfortable. Are they a contender or are you like, mmm? Yeah, they're, yeah, they're I mean, a contender. You got five options. Yeah, they're, they're a contender because they're not like anything I've had before, so it'll be fun to have something fresh. Okay. Okay, these I don't know. I don't know. These are a little outside of the When he told me house. what he ordered, I was like, did you make. Did you make a mistake? And not because they're ugly, but because they're your wild card, right? These yeah. These were your wild card? Yeah, let's get outside the comfort zone and mm -hmm. see what happens. Watch, they're going to be the ones. Try not to be too basic. Okay, these are the Haskell. Uh-huh. Haskell. Crystal with Blue Jay. They're really cool. Show them the inside part. I don't think Wait. they can tell, unless you're, like, really close. So, if I bring it up to you, yeah, you can yeah. see inside the don't blue. Don't focus on me. See the blue? It's focusing on your pretty face. See what? Here. Oh, yeah, Do you see it that? Is. It has it like the inner rim that's like baby blue. It's really cool. This isn't about me. <laughs> Trying to steal my limelight. I've been waiting for this day. Oh, those are cute. Yeah. yeah. 
I wonder, are these the same frame? No. No? They're a little different. Okay. Yeah, I like these. Again, very comfortable and light. I like that. You can wear these all day and never notice. Hold on. Those are really cute. I think your friends would tease you at work, though. You think so? Yeah. Here, look in the mirror over there. And then you'd have to kill them, you know? And it's not... I could pull this off. No, you could totally pull it off the way you look because you're so handsome. But, you know, they're very trendy. They are. Maybe, maybe they could be your weekend glasses. Maybe I need a little trendy in my life. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, you end up kind with of the me middle of the road. I'm kind of super cool. So. Safe guy. Okay. Let's see. We're going to do another tortoise shell, but these are a little bit different frame. These are the Clemens. Hmm. Clemens. I have to say, you guys, I teased him a lot about selecting them without me, but you're too cute, man. Yes. It just loves to focus on you. There it is. Oh, trying to get me. It's because I look so good today. No, I do. I'm giving him a hard time, but I was surprised with the stuff he picked. I was like, good job, Parker. Ooh, no, don't do that. Let me see. Oh, those are my favorite so far. These are the favorite? Those are my favorite. These are very similar. I like they're bigger. To these. But they're bigger. Okay. Here? Okay, ready? Bang. Mm-hmm. Bang. What do you guys think? Oh, I don't know. Bang, bang. Ooh, these are a little bit more comfortable. Okay, well, there you go. This fit my head a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. They're bigger. Okay. These then, are round. Which one was which? This is Baker. Okay. I'm glad you're paying attention. <laughs> Good job. You passed the test. I knew the entire time. And in my first Warby Parker rodeo. I knew the entire time. Yeah, you did. Okay. Yeah, you did, babe. So, these are a contender, too. So, they're all, all they, are well, so They fun. bumped out the Bakers. So far. They bumped out the Bakers. Oh, okay. So, now you just got... Clemens and Haskell. Right. Now we're moving on to... I have these! These are the Welty. Mm-hmm. Welty. Now these were... I was like, oh, I don't know. Because they're a two-tone. Did they're, you know I had these? Uh, no, I didn't Didn't notice. That's for me. Because I'm a guy. I don't notice. <laughs> that, that was so uh, relatable. I'm but sure see, there's a lot of people that would appreciate that comment. They had the... the uh, Turtle baby shell blue. on top and the baby blue on bottom. Mm -hmm. So that's really cute. It's a two tone. Kind of unusual. Oh, those are adorable. Mm -hmm. That's like a hybrid of these two. You got the fun on the bottom and then the like uh, classic on the top. Don't worry, I remember which ones they are. Yeah. He's like, don't touch my glasses. <laughs> I'm here to do your taxes, but I also know how to party. <laughs> yeah, these are again. I'm amazed by how light all these glasses. Mm -hmm. are. Very comfortable in the face. Can't really see good line. Yeah, these are good. I like these too. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'll have to really study the blue. No, no, no. Put a maybe on that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, these are fun. These are uh, black. Sometimes you wear black and wear black glasses with it, right? He likes to match, like match, match. Looks like you, know, you got a brown belt. Got to wear some brown glasses. Can you show them this? Yeah. These have. Um, it's like a racing stripe. Triple no, it's like a it's like a triple dip. So do you guys see the the line? It has three colors. It's brown, white, and gray or black. Called, gray. Uh, they're called Fletcher. Four. There's four colors: gray, white, brown, and black. Look at that. Let me show you even closer. See the four colors? So it's fun up close, but otherwise it's a very standard classic black frame, and it's super light, and it's a matte black. So it doesn't have that traditional glossy sheen that an acetate frame has. The Fletcher Black Matte Eclipse is what these are. Oh, that's so that means they have the Fletcher and other color combos. These feel like really sturdy. All right. Let's go, muscles. Oh. Those are bold. How do you think? Really? They look good, but they're bold. Hmm. They really stand out. Mm -hmm. They're going to be looking at me or looking at my glasses. You're going to be looking at your glasses when you're at the opera <laughs> or at the art exhibit. I'm never going to be, about, I'm not going to be in those places. Talking about the stress in the piece of art you're looking at. <laughs> I do like them because the frame is, is, the lenses are big and the frame is out so you don't notice the frames when you're looking through them. Like a wild, mm -hmm. wide. I told view. him, I was like, are you ordering 
Are you going to order the narrow, the na I think they're called narrow. Are you going to order narrow, medium, or wide frames? And he's like, I don't know, I just put them in my cart. <laughs> so there's options. If you want the style, you can get the same style oversized, or you can get them smaller, like a more artsy look. But you just got medium straight across. Mm -hmm. So like the standard size of glasses, which looks great on his face. But if you wanted to do oversized, like you mentioned, you could... You could say, hey, I want these or whichever, but then when we go order them after we return the five frames, we can order the bigger size. Yeah, and I know there's a lot of people out there that are like that. They don't want to see their frames. Right? Mm -hmm. They just want to see. Uh huh. They just want the else. little bitty glasses or so they want see through frames. I like big frames. If I'm wearing glasses, I want you to know I'm wearing glasses. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm going to do, gonna, these, are, these are tough. They I'm going to take um, a picture of you in every single pair of these, and I'm going to put a collage up on the screen so that you guys can see it, and I want you guys to comment down below which style is the one you like the most. So on the picture, I'll put that he's wearing Haskell, or that he's putting he's wearing Clemens, or the Baker, whatever style. I'll put a collage of all five pictures, and we want you guys to vote which style is your favorite. But if you had to pick your favorite right now, no input, not my opinion, no, no paleontology jokes which ones do you think were are like your your heart pull um i love i, I really love tortoiseshell and these these let's see what we call these these are the the clemens kind of feel like my favorite so far yeah but the fun side of me getting pulled toward these you always get two pairs at a time yeah so you could have a fun pair and then you could have your work pair mm -hmm. these would be adorable and you know who would freak out Taryn. Taryn. <laughs> Taryn's his oldest daughter. She would be like, can I have that pair too? <laughs> I will match with you. <laughs> she loves glass. She loves unique glasses. And this girl, I swear to God, you saw in the previous Warby Parker video we did. She tried all the glasses that looked so ridiculous on me. And for her, it was like natural. <laughs> she would love those. <laughs> Don't get those. We can get them for her. <laughs> yeah. So, Okay. If you guys were wondering, curious, wanted to check it out, it is a service that is absolutely free. Warby Parker, at home try-on, absolutely free. They send you your choice of five frames. You can take the quiz to make it easy for you. You can devour the website piece by piece and select any five frames to be sent to your house absolutely free with the free return label, and you have no obligation to purchase. So if you know you're overdue for an eyeglass appointment, if you know you're overdue for new glasses, if you know you're overdue or your eyes just need glasses, maybe even contacts, I will have a link in the description box below. It's warbyparker.com slash coffee break. Warbyparker.com slash coffee break. And you guys can try on five pairs of frames. Absolutely free. No obligation. But he's obligated to get a pair. He might yeah. end up getting two. <laughs> Have fun. Go out the box. You know, explore, you know, outside your comfort zone. Why not? It doesn't cost you a thing. Yeah. And when I order my Warby Parkers, I really like the option that when you're checking out, it's very easy to submit your new refraction or your prescription. It's very easy to select if you want to add uh, blue light protection. It's very easy to select what kind of lenses you want. So the process itself from start to finish, from the at-home try-on to the actually ordering process is a piece of cake. And Even I could do it. You can do it without your wife. So <laughs> we'll have all the information listed in the description box below. But you guys, I know Parker really wants to know your feedback. He loves when I read him the comments you guys leave about him. So I think we're going to add this little segment into our vlogs because he finds the coolest stuff every time he shops. Except Warren Parker. That's on me. I take all credit. I found it. You're welcome. You put it right in front of me. <laughs> you literally opened the laptop and went here. Here. <laughs> Do it. Now the first one, well, you're done already? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I took the quiz. <laughs> That's true. You, you, that's right. I was like, because he usually is like, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? Now I know why you did so bad. It was the quiz. I thought he wasn't taking his job seriously. I was like, this is important, Parker. This is my relationship with one of my favorite brands. What are you doing? He's like, I'm done. Follow the instructions. <laughs> I did it all by myself. I'm a big boy. <laughs> you want to show me your tooth? Can you show me your tooth? Oh, that's mine. Let me see your little gap. Oh, oh that's a nice little gap. I don't want to see your gap. <laughs> what are you doing? You were so quiet when we were downstairs. Were you up to no good? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Trail of evidence. Trail of evidence. What? What were you doing? <laughs> what were you doing? Why were you so quiet? I'm following you. I'm following you. Did you put your toys away? 
Okay, so you guys remember there were these ottomans here, right? So, Mackie, can you show us yours? So, this is his ottoman, and these are the toys he decided to keep. So, I am so proud of Mateo because he took this massive toy collection, and that's what was really, really... <laughs> really special to him. He really narrowed it down. I mean, from a little bit of monster trucks, he has some action figures, some robots. I'm gonna throw you in there if you keep this up. But this one is my baby hoarder. Shockingly, I thought he was gonna be the hoarder. This one's the baby hoarder. He could not, he could not narrow his collection down. So we're currently on the struggle bus. Let me show you guys. We got, these are family games that we're gonna keep. This is my baby hoarder's situation. So we're struggling because we can't put the lid on it. And he's keeping those two, which I said was okay. They're like little structure type toys. He plays with these for hours. I love that about these. They, they make him, he's very, look, he even has something on there right now, like his booty. <laughs> You're gonna break it. We have his toys here. So I'm gonna have Parker, I'm gonna have Parker help me take this back to their room. And that'll be the toys he keeps. These will be organized to some degree downstairs in one of our like buffet organizers with all our other family toys. Okay, listen, if you're gonna keep interrupting me, you gotta give me something, something of substance, like a quote, something profound. Okay, give me something profound. <laughs> it's like you guys never get attention. It's crazy. But then I made the mistake of doing this. <laughs> And we really do not want to get into details about what happened in here, but I do have an empty closet and an empty bookcase. So empty bookcase, all this stuff. Um, and then I also have this shelving unit, which I'm surprised you guys, let's talk about something. I'm a little salty. I'm a little butt hurt. So here's a scoop. This is why I'm a little butt hurt. I posted this cube unit on an app and one of the selling websites. And I was like, someone come take this unit for $100. Now I've noticed throughout this decluttering process that I shockingly take really good care of my stuff. Everything that I've taken out, there's no damage to it. There's no rips, there's no tears, there's no scratches. Like it's very few and far between that you find damage to something, but it's when I've had it for over like 10 years. So this unit, for example, is probably eight years old. It has these features to the unit that Ikea no longer makes. So I thought it was gonna fly. Like I thought it, I was gonna sell it in, in the first hour that I posted it. And no, no such luck. So we'll try again. Um, I'm not in a big hurry to get rid of it, but I do have to have it off my hands by the end of October. Oh, all right. Yeah? Okay, oh, all right, whoa. Can I help you? You wanna show me your gap now? No, okay, fine. Anyway, so it is a busy but lazy Sunday, just doing some decluttering, just organizing the house. I don't know what we're gonna do later. We had lunch pretty late, so I don't even know if I'm gonna make dinner, but if we do anything or if we go anywhere, we won't go anywhere. Um, or I actually look cuter later, then I'll say hello to you guys. Deal? You guys, it's almost 7.30. Parker disappeared and so did Sophia, and I was like, did he take her for a walk? Where'd they go? She heard the door close, I'm like, this is highly sus, I must <coughs> investigate. So Mateo and I found them. It was the scene of a crime. Mm -hmm. Scene of a crime, am I right? <laughs> yeah. Look, look at these two. Up to no good. Look at her, she's like, yeah, I'm at the spa. Getting so cute. Oh, I'm sorry, you gotta get in there. <laughs> Let's see this one. Thank you. How does this make you feel? I hate do you, it. Do you have a word for your sponsor? No. Did you do your at home try on with Warby Parker? She's totally ignoring me. She can use some glasses. <laughs> She's like, I cannot allow this. I cannot believe you're allowing this, Mom. But you look so pretty. Yes, you do. Pretty girl. She's You're losing good. hair and you lost teeth. Yeah. She's gonna look bald after this. No, we're just trimming her paws and her booty shaker. Right, baby? She's so quiet. 
She hates it. Well, apparently Parker thinks he's a, he's a groomer now. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that confidence. She seems so unfazed. She's just investigating, exploring. She's not trying to get away. She's yeah. just pulling a little bit. She's, she's curious. Just, she's like, I'm not sure what's going on. Tickles. Tickles. <laughs> yeah, look, she's like, oh, this is, what is this pump? Are those Q-tips? Am I at a spa? Am I at a spa? Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, can I help you in there? I was doing the flippy. Uh-huh. Yeah, big shout out to uh, Manscaped. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, these are for- these Don't are, tell Sophia. <laughs> these are actually for me and my, uh, and it's, Regions? Yeah, so it's like metal and then plastic, so it's So really, it has a, it's a built-in guard, right? Yeah, it's really safe for your skin. So it's perfect for the dogs. <laughs> How do you feel about that? So she's got some- No! <laughs> she still has peanut butter on her beard. Can <laughs> No. Did you do her booty shaker? Yes. All right. Whoa, look at all the hair falling off of her. She's so sweet. Look at her. You want me to do your eyes? No. You do your eyes so you can see? This one's so overprotective of his dogs. Like, leave my dogs alone. Are they safe? Are you being nice? Right? <laughs> no. Don't cut her eyelashes. She has eyelashes people pay for. She's also almost blind. That's yeah. true. <laughs> Proceed. <laughs> Carry on. Think she's gonna walk into a wall. Holy mackerel. How's that? Who can you see? A ver, mami. Ay, que cara tan bonita tiene mi princesita. A meso cara muy bonita. Don't give her a haircut. That's her ponytail. Oh, do you ruin her ponytail? No. <laughs> her ponytail game. <laughs> she's got plenty of hair left. Let me tell you, we need a vacuum cleaner, buddy. Can you bring it, please? The one, Parker, the little one or the red one? Uh, the little one. The little no, purple one. The porp. Look at her little feet. <laughs> Look at her tum tum. See? Oh, that tum tum's nice. You see? Love it. Oh, oh, hell no. <laughs> she gave me the glare. Yeah, I am. You did good. You're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. Does it feel better? Oh, you feel better? You're a good girl. Mm mm. All right, you guys, I think that brings this weekend vlog to an end. Look at those eyes. Oh, who can see now? Did you shave your eyebrow? Did you Parker shave your eyebrow? Why oh, you look so pretty? Oh my goodness. Look at that face. I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It was a little bit slow, but it is a very rare occasion where it's the boys all weekend. We have just gotten so used to having our routine where I have them primarily during the week, their dad has them primarily during the weekend, and so you just get adjusted. But having them here all weekend was really fun. A lot of quality time, we ran errands together, and it was just really cool because it wasn't during like school hours. There wasn't really something we had to rush to get to or schedule to abide by, so it's super relaxing. It may not have been that entertaining for you guys, but we definitely got a lot of stuff done. We got our, our eyeballs trimmed. A booty shaker too. <laughs> I hope you guys had a good time. Don't forget that if you guys are interested in trying out the Warby Parker at home try on, it is absolutely free, no strings attached. You guys can just order, take the quiz, order five frames, try them on, take pictures, have your friends help you decide. It's a really fun experience. I've done it for myself, I think three times. We've done it with the girls and now we've done it with Parker. So it's kind of like a family affair. If you guys wanted to try it out, there is a link in the description box below. It's warbyparker.com slash coffee break so make sure to follow that link and try on your five pairs but for now i gotta go put these kiddos to bed their bedtime is 7 30 and tomorrow is a school day so we gotta stick to our schedule y'all i'm the mom that's on a schedule sorry it's just how i'm wired <laughs> We had enough loosey-goosey time this weekend. It's time to get serious. Anything and everything that you guys saw in this vlog will be listed and linked in the description box below. I love you guys so much, and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give us a pull up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break with Sophie Girl is over. Mwah! I love you. <laughs>